¡Vamos! Hola, buenos dias. Good morning. We are walking stage number 10 today, but it's only a partial stage uh -huh. because we went ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> it's only a partial stage because yesterday we went a little further to get to Grañon. So we're walking Grañon to Belderado, which was like 15.4 kilometers. Wait. So it's a luxurious day because it's only 15 kilometers or 10 miles. And uh, as you can see, it's very overcast, very cloudy. Um, the weather app is telling me that there could be a potential disruption to our walk due to thunderstorms. Also a little chilly this morning. I love it so much. We don't have coats on, so it's not that chilly. No, nah, probably like about, yesterday. I'd say it's probably about 62, maybe 64 degrees. All right, vamos. Ustedes aquí. Ah, uh, Santiago. All good things must come to an end. We are entering our third of four regions right now. I mean, we may have a long way to go, but we only have four regions and we're entering the third right now. What are we entering? The autonomous region of Castile y Leon, which so is the largest uh, portion of the Camino de Santiago. It's one of the largest provinces, if not the largest province in Spain. Fact um, check. Yeah, fact check that. <laughs> but we have, I think, a total of about 500-ish, little more than 500 kilometers to Santiago. And when we leave Castilla y Leon, we'll only have 150 kilometers left. 155 to be precise, according to that sign. So, and you know all the signs in the Camino are accurate. They are 100% accurate. <laughs> Just like the internet. Um, so <laughs> We're excited to enter a new region. We love the area between Burgos and Leon. It's always exciting when you have a day that you're moving into something You cross new. a border, make a milestone. Yeah, something. I love it every time we hit 200 kilometers, 300, but this is exciting. everywhere she goes. Two. Four-legged, two-legged, some that like the pole, some that don't. <laughs> Albergue that doesn't take reservations, that's the race to the bed. And all of those backpacks equal people who are holding their spot in line because they got here first. And those lines by two o'clock can be very long. Right now it's only- 11.45. Yeah, it's 11.45. Albergue opens at one. Yep. Along the Camino, you'll find Market Day often. It's really nice when you can run into uh, Market Day on the day you're coming. Sometimes we actually feel like we're following the market as it's in the towns that we're in. But here in Belorado, Market Day has been coming here since the 1100s. Every Monday. Every Monday. And it's a great place to find good deals. I have found 
pieces of clothing and it's a, a really great, especially at the end of the Camino when you want some extra clothes to wear. So let's go check it out. It's noon, we've made it to Belorado, we've seen the market. What are we waiting for now? Well, the Albergue has not opened yet, so we have to put our backpacks in line and get something to snack on. Michelle has some queso de cabra, goat cheese with uh, apricot marmalade on it. Michelle has olives. Olives, and this is a uh, carne, uh, uh, pimento carne, so a stuffed pimento with uh, meat in it. And cocktails. first in line, but the albergue opens in 10 minutes. This is the line. However, I will say, we have a room with only six beds in it. So who knows where we're gonna end up. You'll find out soon. We are here on the first floor. And we're in one of the small dormitory rooms. So our room has four beds. Four beds. But this we're attached room. to a room with six beds. Yeah. And then we have a bathroom here okay. with a toilet and a shower. And then there was another toilet, at least, in the hallway. What's interesting is we both got bottom bunks. And if we wouldn't know, it'd been interesting to see who would be sleeping next to because look how close they are. Yeah, I mean. We're in separate beds, but not really. And let's look at the toilet. Shower. Toilet. At least there's a place here to hang your toilet. We need a shower. Room. There was one more toilet and shower out there, so maybe there's two for all of these beds. Most importantly, did you get your shoes clean? Yeah, they had they had the um, they were the shoes of the Camino today. So we've showered and now washing laundry and hope it dries before the rain comes in. So get to work, Coleman. Your job's up. washed our laundry, we've had another snack. <laughs> I took a, about a 30, 45 minute nap after all of that. What did you do? I'm working on editing some video, so hit like. <laughs> Subscribe, if you ring the bell, you'll get a notification from YouTube, let you know when each of our videos are ready. But after all of that. <laughs> it was time for us to go for a little walk. Some days on the Camino, there are things you just have to go visit in the town that you're staying in. Well, I think we go visit, we go wander around all of the villages. Some have more to see than others. Yes. So today we walked about uh, almost three quarters of a kilometer, which is a lot to walk at the end of a day, to come over to this convent. Yes, because they make their own chocolate. Artisanal chocolate. So we got chocolate covered lemon. And orange maybe i don't know i think it's a mix of it might be a white mix. and dark chocolate but um, i don't know to open them up and try them 
We'll try them. We know that they have no gluten in them. They're just fruit and chocolate, and the nun was very sweet. I, text, I wrote in Google Translate, I said it looks like you've been making chocolate because her habit was white and it had stains of chocolate all over her. I can relate, because when I cook, I make a total mess. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, we gotta go to the grocery store now. We gotta go to the grocery store. That's one other thing that is a kind of a staple for us, either for food or, or um, this time it's toothpaste and shampoo. Look at the choices, and then you ring the bell and then that will come out to serve whatever you need. Otherwise, they are completely cloistered. Start working. It is early. 10.30. This is our earliest morning out, 6.20. But we have, wow, like 30 kilometers, 15, 17, 18, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18 19 miles. And it's supposed to start raining by noon. So we gotta get going. Vamos. Another night of storms means another day of hiking in the mud. Of course, it's nothing like the mud of La Rioja a couple of days ago, but it's still kind of gross and slows us down just a little bit. I've moved to the phone, so sorry if things are a little bouncy. We should, after that storm, hopefully be good for at least the next hour to two before the next round comes through. See how far we can get. Maybe a fast. Wow, what a morning. What a morning it's been already. We left earlier than normal this morning, trying to get as much mileage under um, under our feet as possible before the rain. Didn't work. <laughs> we stopped at five kilometers for our breakfast. We love stopping kind of between five and eight kilometers. It should have only been a 20 minute stop and ended up being 45 because right as we were ready to leave, the oh. deluge started. And of course I didn't think to grab the camera and record it. Right when it started raining, we honestly, it was sprinkly at first, so we were really just trying to put rain gear on and get out of there. And then it downpoured. Oh boy. <laughs> it downpoured big time. So now the sun is out. We're still in our rain gear because it's, it's cold. not gonna last very long. And it's, it's chilly. One of those days. It's only about maybe 60, 65 degrees. We are not complaining. This is like hiking in the spring, which is a time we never get to hike because we're in school. So if that's what it's like, we'll take it. Uh, David Tarbell, we're from Washington State. And why are you walking the Camino? <clears throat> to draw closer to God, to draw closer to my son, and to have a grand adventure. I have a grand adventure. And your son is walking with you. Hi, Hi I'm, I'm Sean Tarbell, my dad. And why are you walking the Camino? I'm walking for him. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, you guys are gonna make me cry and you haven't even said anything. <laughs> okay, I'm a crier, so okay. forgive me. So tell us what you're going through while you're walking on this Camino. Well, I'm a, I'm a dialysis patient. And uh, so I kinda, I try to jump from dialysis station to dialysis station. How long can you go or how long are you supposed to go between treatments? I'm supposed to go every other day. The longest I've been so far is eight days. Wow. How do you feel by the end of that? Uh, a little bit more fluid on my body. Okay. <laughs> and, and so my son knows the warning signs to watch out for if I get too many toxins built up. Okay. And he's got the authority to pull the plug on this whole thing and say, okay, we're done. So your mom trusts you is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, good to know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the fun police. The fun police? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I understand that role very well. 
And how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good, thank you. I'm glad you walked the Camino. Glad you're walking the Camino. I am, I am delighted. I, we, all three goals have been knocked out of the park so far. So if we stop now, we're good. I mean, you climbed the Pyrenees, right? No. Oh no, you started in Pamplona? <laughs> we took a taxi from Orison to Roncesvalles. Because the first day was kicking my butt. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's butt. Everybody's butt. Well, we are both blessed to meet you. Oh, well, thank you. And we're so glad that you're walking with your son. That is the greatest thing. No matter who you are, no matter what's going on in your life, walk the Camino. Yeah, it's a good adventure. In case you didn't believe us about that rainstorm, that is all hail that is collected right here. stretch of 12 and a half kilometers after this. So I got a tortilla with ham and cheese in it. So I'm very picky about my tortilla because we eat a lot of it. But this with the ham and cheese in it is so good. This is uh, like a potato salad. It's, it's called um, Insalata Ruscia. Um, it's got like some egg and some cheese in it, tomato, olives. This one's really tasty, not all of them are. And Brian has some sort of like beef cheek maybe. With what's the gravy? It's roasted and the gravy is amazing. And of course, Aquarius Limon, the only downside is it does not have any Jack Daniels in it. But Aquarius Limon is the drink that gets you through the Camino. Some people like the Kos. We both like this much better. So, cheers. Well, it's about the amount of time it would have taken us to walk here. I mean, I feel like we're checking in at a proper time. Our, our luggage may be here. So most people are upstairs, and that's where the dorm rooms are. There is one private room in this albergue, and because I reserved really early, we got this room. I'm feeling a little guilty, which is why I'm whispering. Because it's on the ground level. It's on the ground level, like the steps outside are right there. However, we do have four flies right now because it's on the first floor. No one feels bad So, for I mean, one just flew by my face. I feel bad. Um, but look at how spacious it is. And we have a coffee and tea service with biscuits, some tea, some Nescafe, all the things. And then we have towels. And a private bathroom, which none of the other pilgrims have. Out, the lights out there. Um, nice big shower. Can you come in here? Let's both be in the bathroom. There's enough room for us both to be in the bathroom. That says a lot. <laughs> but there's there's a bunch of flies. So, um, but it's okay. Um, I'm just saying. Judge me for what you will. If you book early and there's only one private room. You get it. And the flies. Since we last talked, there was rain, there was hail, there was mud, there was all the things. And then there was a taxi. And that's how we got to this little village. It was all their I think, fault. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I, I think the thing is, the bottom line, the Camino is not just about walking, the Camino is about meeting people, it's about having experiences. And today we have had an experience that we've been longing for for a while, which was just sitting down and having some good conversation. So 
please don't be a purist. This is our Camino pro, pro tip for a day today. Don't be a purist. Just take in the experiences for whatever they are, whether it's a rest day or conversation with a local, with other pilgrims, whatever it may be. Just take in the experiences for what they are. They're worth it. a caravan bar it's a little food truck but surprisingly enough it's in the building and this is the place tonight at least where the party is so here's the restaurant and the crowd was really noisy until they got served and we hear these are the best hamburgers on the Camino 